doing everyone and welcome to another video with Big Mac and B Pop Ginger and this one was kinda on the fly. Oh, I'm a little out of breath. It's warm in here today. Just happened to find that the car boots had restarted today. My local one's A47 and Croft here in Leicestershire. And I figured might as well go and have a little look, see what's good. I don't normally get up before dinner. So getting up at seven in the morning. It was the only option and I got some beautiful options here. Some absolutely fantastic deals, cannot complain. So without further ado, after a little sippy sip, let's get into them. It's car boots, you never know, once in a while you'll find an absolutely stellar option. I think one of the best things I've ever found was a bag full of comic books. Cost 15 quid for about, it was about 100 odd in there. And I, I sold a load of them off for about 20 quid. And one of the best things in there, which I think I mentioned in a previous video, was an Amazing Spider-Man 300, first appearance of Venom. Not in the greatest condition, but still worth a nice little chunk. Right, that is not part of this. So the first couple of things that I ended up picking up, these are just gifts for my nephews. So just something nice and cheap, a nice little Dinosaur shaped RC car. Got a little one, about five year old, he'll, he'll enjoy that. Followed by a couple of these cool little figures. These were supposed to be three pound each, but they did me two for a fiver. Because one of my nephews had an accident recently and uh, split his wig. So I'll give him a couple of these Fortnite figures that he's a fan of, just to make him feel a bit better. I don't think five pound for a two, that's a, it's a cheap and cheerful gift. What more can I ask for? So let's get on to the other goodies now. Another thing, three pound each, but I managed to get two for a fiver, was a couple of Q-Figs. These ones, Loot Crate exclusives, both of them. The first one being this here, what was that, that silver or grey Deadpool? Give me a little look-see at the back of the box too. Like I said, this was supposed to be three pound each, but I got two for a fiver, so I picked up the Deadpool, and I also added in uh, from Suicide Squad a Harley Quinn in her like OG Jester's outfit costume kind of thing. I'm guessing that was another version on the back. Is the the movie version of Harley Quinn? Boxes are in pretty decent nick. Little bit of little bash here and there, but cheap and cheerful can't complain. Next thing I picked up, just because I hadn't played it before, but I wanted to, cheap and cheerful brand new for seven quid, was just a copy of Dead Rising 3. I like mixing it up, playing some killing games, shooting games, whatnot, once in a while, when I have time from work. Figure something like that. Cheap and cheerful, shunt in front to work with. The next little items I picked up, some reading material. For a pound, I got the Avengers. And that was from uh, the Mightiest Heroes Marvel run. I think this was uh, a few years ago now. It says 2014 on the back, so I'm guessing probably around 2014 when they released this one. Some pretty good looking graphics, all different styles in there. It's like OG original Avengers style, as you can see from the older artistics. Some of the newer style, you know, a little bit of a mix. Figure for a pound, can't say no, that's that's book 24 of that run. Figure, can't complain of that. Next ones, I paid four quid total for these three books uh, titled Username Uprising, Username Eevee, and Username Regenerated. Now these are written, I'll just give you a little look-see, by Joe Sugg. Uh, for anyone not familiar with who Joe Sugg is, he was a YouTuber, probably still is a YouTuber. Uh, known, uh, he was the brother of Zoella, I believe. Now, the reason I actually got attracted to this was mainly because of this particular one, Uprising. Because uh, if you can't read the little sticker that's just below where my finger is, like I said, I paid £4 total for the three. This one, actually signed by him. It's a signed book. I can't say no to a signed book. That was a hell of a deal, if you ask me. 
I don't know. I don't think his signature is worth a massive amount, but I like signing stuff. <laughs> I ain't going to say no to that opportunity. Now this canvas, I'm looking to do some upgrading on the back of here. So I'm going to eventually start changing the camera angle that will capture this and what's behind me. But this was 50p. 50 pence for this canvas. And there's no way in hell I was going to leave that behind. So it shows... Thor, Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, and Captain America. And just to give you a look at what it says above, the mighty, the, in, is that invincible? Yep, the invincible, the incredible, and the patriot. For 50p, wasn't leaving that behind. It has a couple little scuffs on it, but once it's hung up, you won't even notice. And the final thing, this cost me £10 for three. This is also going to be part of my display back here, along with that Metal Superman sign. Oop, let me get it the right way around. Is three canvases with uh, Superman covers on. So we have OG. This one here is, what's that, number 300? I've got to look at the front. Cover up for number 300 and one for number 233. Three canvases for a tenner, brand new. They look brand new, I'm not seeing any damage, any wear or anything. I couldn't pass up an opportunity like that. Cheap and cheerful way to jazz up everything that I've got back here. I figured it's something fun. Got me out for a bit. And I wanted to show you all some of the goodies that are out there. And hopefully, you know, I'll hit up a couple more car boots throughout the year. Give you more videos to work with. You may have also noticed all of my stoders are now on display. Some of them are a bit out of camera range. Trying to figure out what can actually be seen. So we've got two layers out. But if you wanted to know what's actually on here right now, there is a short on my channel. So feel free to check that out. But that was everything I had for you on that one, folks. On this nice, warm, lovely day. So until next time, stay safe. Have a good day. And of course, live that pop fanatic life. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.